Hi guys, this is Rachel from Rachel Reads, and this is author Nicole Arlen, and she wrote, as you can see back here, The Sugar Spear Chronicles by Full Fathom 5, and we are both going to do an original tag, the booktube fairy tale tag, and we're writing this up because Nicole here is a fairy tale, it's a fantasy writer, so she writes this type of genre, and so we're kind of going to play off her books a little bit. Nicole here is going to tell you a little bit about her book. So I wrote these um, 26 novellas in the collection of the Sugar Spear Chronicles, which these are all the book covers Sorry. that you can find on the Full Fathom 5 website. And they're about a little girl called Sadie who is um, abused by her stepfather in a small gray town somewhere in America. Due to that, she goes on a journey of fantastical mind-boggling places to find a king who can bring her original father home, her real father. And through the journey she falls in love and she meets all these crazy characters and has wild experiences. And so it's really the story of her life in these books. Very nice. I love it. Now we're going to start with the questions. It's ten questions. And the first is pretty basic. What is your favorite fairy tale as a child? Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. I, I, I just remember reading those books and Aslan and the Lion and walking through the real world into a fantasy world to me through the armor was astounding that I wanted to go and I just would look at everything that I could enter walls and enter doors and enter my armor and closet and I just believed that there was a world past our world through those books and so those books touched my life forever. They're wonderful. Yeah. I read them and you know I didn't know this when I started reading them actually just a year ago. Is they're so small. Yeah. The movie's small. like two hours long, but the book is like 60 pages. Yep. It's pretty crazy. So around fourth, fifth grade, I was obsessed with unicorns. I could not, I just love unicorns so much. I couldn't get enough of them. And so my friend recommended me this, this series called The Last Unicorn and The Unicorns of Balinor. They were amazing. 11 year old child in me couldn't get enough of them so I I could read so many unicorn books it was a little sad um, but I still own them today wow, I still own I yep still own every single unicorn book beautiful yeah second yeah. one is if you could live in any fairy tale world what would it be it has to be Harry Potter oh my god I want to be a wizard so badly La Belle Livette the Beauty and the Beast I would maybe want to be the beauty, but then I wouldn't want to be have the beast. But the beast turns into a royal prince, and so I would want to be her or Sleeping Beauty, who gets awoken by the beautiful prince. Uh, I love Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, it's my favorite fairy tale. Yeah, actually. I love it too. Third one is, what is your favorite fairy tale retelling? My favorite fairy tale retelling is pretty much anything Beauty and the Beast. The message is, you know, love whoever you want to love. It doesn't matter about looks. Yep. It matters about personality. And personality should win all the time. It's all about love. All about love. Fourth one is, what fairy tale would you recommend a child? I would recommend anything by Roald Dahl, actually. I would recommend Matilda. James and the Giant Peach, yeah. or Matilda. I, I would recommend The Wind in the Willows. Mm -hmm. or Every classic fairy tale. I would actually even recommend Grimm's, I want to say. It depends, you know, how old the child is. But I read at a very early age and I was able to take different messages from, from books. Ella Enchanted. Yes. Ella, that's what got me into reading. That's what started my love of books. And I will always recommend it to every child. If you were a fantasy author, what mythical creature would you create? I would create a dragon-tiger hybrid because I like dragons and I want to be able to ride the dragon, but I also want it to have stripes because I love tigers. That's just a personal That's preference. Really Not only flames, but I want it to um, spew out electricity and water. So three things. You mentioned the flying away part. I would absolutely create a creature that's like an angel bird that has golden wings and silver dripping off of it and, and that could 
come at any moment to take you out of any painful situation or and bring you exactly where you want to be or exactly the desires of your heart and it would carry you through a beautiful wind and across the mountain tops and you could see every situation from above you wouldn't be trapped on earth in any of your life circumstances and you would just ride this beautiful golden place into a heavenly realm with this creature. Wow, you thought this through. Yeah, lived it in my head a lot. <laughs> you could speak to any fan fantasy author personally, who would it be? I have to go back to J.K. Rowling. That would be my pick. I, I have to agree with you. I would want to speak to J.K. Rowling more than any other writer. And I would also want to speak to J.R. Tolkien and C.S. Lewis. If you could have any magical power, what would it be? I would have the power of the elements. Water, fire, earth, air, light, and dark. Kind of like Avatar, The Last Airbender, and Korra, except I will add light and dark as elements. I would have the power to make people's dreams come true. And it sounds really cliche, but I would. I, I hope to somehow do that in my life. I, th I think people who ha are carrying a dream and it's hard to get there, or they don't know how, or different reasons they can't make it, I would want to just grant them their wishes or their deepest heart's purposes. I would want to have that power. What's your favorite uh, fairy tale book? I think the most recent one that I've read that I like is Incarnate by Jodi Meadows. She creates this whole entire new fantasy world that I enjoy so much. I love the world building and the characters and just the thought and the imagination it took to think up this whole plot because it's kind of a crazy plot. My favorite book, fantasy books, I think Alice in Wonderland what, is probably my fav favorite fantasy book of all times and again, Lord of the Rings. What fairy tale resonates with you the most? I have to go back to Beauty and the Beast because I really resonate with Belle. The whole point of the book is Belle doesn't judge people. She kind of takes Beast for who he is and that's what I really like and that's how I kind of want to be, too. I want to have no judgment towards people and accept everybody um, for who they are. Snow White resonates with me. There's always goodness. You know, I love that there's there's always goodness along the way. And I, I resonate with, again, a lot of the stories from the Bible, even though they're not fantasy or fairy tale, per se. I, I just resonate with a lot of the characters. I, I resonate with all characters that have to go through something to get somewhere. Last question, what fairy tale creature would be your sidekick? I have to say my real sidekick, now that I'm thinking about it more than a white rabbit, would definitely be Aslan. Aslan! That is the ultimate sidekick to have on your side. And yeah. Everything is possible with him. Yeah. And he's beautiful and sweet, tender, powerful, everything. That's and true. Of course. I want Aslan. I, hey, I want Aslan. Yeah, I agree. Forget the white rabbit. Yeah. No, forget the unicorn. Aslan. Yeah. Yep, that's our answer. Thank you guys so much for watching our brand new tag. The people that we tagged are down below in the description, but feel free to do it if you would like. You don't have to be tagged in order to do it. So thank you guys again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Have a wonderful day. I'm going to do two book hauls. The first one is BEA, and the second one is RWA. Uh, so I didn't do BEA because I didn't really get a lot